Yeah, that's like tail almost. Look at it. Man, I'm gonna put my hood up now. Wow. here getting these morning morning treats you get some red grapes look at him peeling it squirrel man was you hungry he's been going nuts all morning got woke up again after digging hard some little dummy was scratching on the door real loud tell him you scratching on the door just throw it on the floor so I gotta clean it up he peels the whole thing and then eats the inside tell him you don't like the skins you're a picky eater. Look at him, he's got it all peeled here. Was that good, buddy? Is that good? You got kiwis too. Got kiwis too, buddy. He's going for the grapes, he's liking them. You liking the grapes, buddy? All right, well, it's gonna rain today, but no matter, you know, we dig in all conditions here. I'm gonna go hit that dump again. I went and looked at the river and it's at least four inches higher than it was yesterday. I mean, it's high. There must have been a bunch of rain upriver. We got a good bit and the water was high anyway. But, I mean, I can't look for airheads. I'll be able to in like a week, probably. But, here's my pet squirrel, squirrel man. Listen to him. Here, the squirrel maniac. Look at him, the maniac. Here, buddy. He's having his kiwi now. You having the kiwi now, buddy? All right, I'll get back in the dump. All right, I'm walking in the same way to this dump as I did in my last video yesterday. I look for stuff every day for as long as I can. There's a bottle right there. It's a beer. It's not particularly old, but it's from the 60s or 50s. I'd say 50s on that one. There's bottles all up through here. But they dumped, you can see these rocks were blasted off a rock face and then dumped down over this hill. All of these, look at this huge one over here. This thing weighs as much as a mobile home with people in it. But um, I'm going to, it's a shame I can't get down into this area. I can dig some test pits here and I'm going to have to buy another probe. I bent mine. But I'm going to get down here and dig where I've been digging. Look all around. It rained. It's been raining and it's sprinkling on me right now, just misting a little bit. It's going to get to 29 tonight. So I came here so I can prepare a hole. I'm going to fill it in with leaves and stuff. So it doesn't freeze solid and I have a place to dig tomorrow. Um, Squirrel Man will be on this. The river's up or I'd be looking for her heads. But, um, I will get back to you as soon as I get on some fun. And I probably will. Later. Alright, I'm on this dump. Right down in there is where I found that straight side of Pepsi yesterday. I'm preparing, preparing multiple holes here. 
I just started a hole up here. I'm kind of doing test pits today, but there's a Barks. It's broke, but it's Bellera High. You know, that would have been a decent find. It's not like I haven't found them before, but we got a green bottle sticking out right here. Uh, and it's a big can of the dry. Not that I want that, but um, that's okay. It's an ACL. I don't want that, but I might take it and clean it up. Look, that's Bacardi. It's blue. That's kind of cool. It's older. It was, where was it? Right there's where it was stuck. You know, it has to be 50s. I might take that because it's blue. Somebody might want it for a dollar at a flea market eventually or something. I'm back down here. I looked up here. There's stuff all through here on every level. But I'd like to try to find at least one nice old bottle today for a video. So that's what we're going to shoot for. And i got to get this rock out of here. That would put the hammer on me if it fell on my head. I can't. You can see this is starting to fill with water. But do you see it? Got my first find. And I got that big rock. Oh, oh this is awesome. Oh, it's got a big clear window in it. Let me get this cleaned off. I'm almost on the bottom of the dump. I got that rock out so it ain't going to clone me. I got it right there. Um, but this is real wet. We got rain this morning. But I can rake into the wall, drop the stuff down, and then get a... But this man, this marble is amber. This is something good. Hold on. All right. Look at this marble. Looks like a solid white one there. But you turn it around and it's got like a amber colored patch on it with red in it it's clear but it's all clear all on the inside that's pretty nice that's pretty nice indeed well we're on the board with a marble for the frame um i will get back if i see anything else i'm just going to take my time and try to get some clips today it's bad conditions and it's cold all right i've been here a while but I'm in a good dry layer up here above. Right down in there is where I found that awesome Pepsi bottle yesterday. But do you see it? Got one of them like cherry tomato. I don't know, brick marbles. Look at that. It's It's got other... It's got like red and orange in it. It's a pretty nice one for that frame. Yes, I saw this laying on the ground. It's got a marble stuck right in it. It's just a clear one. I think yeah there's nothing in it but it's nice condition i'll put it in that frame um i'm going in this direction you can see it's rained enough this morning see how that's filling with water i can't really see marble so i raked into the wall some found that one marble you can see bottles sticking out but they're mostly screw tops i have a chance for milk in there but it's it's rough going. I'm going to try to get into that ash layer and see what's in this direction. Combination between sleet and rain right now. Here it hitting the leaves. All conditions, fakes. I'm going to go a little bit longer. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it now. Jeez. But I just got an Atlas Mason. I think these were made from 1939 to 1949. I always take him. Man, look at that. That's like hail almost. Look at it. Man, i got to put my hood up now. Wow, later. If i got a marble sticking out of the wall here, it didn't happen too often. It's right in where I was finding some yesterday. I'm back out of the wind here. You can see this isn't as old a trash, but I'm gonna to try to get deeper. Right there is a marble. See what we got here. Ooh, it looks like it's it's got another swirl to it. It's like one of these moonies, I think. That ain't bad. It looks like it'll glow. Look at it. Um, that's kind of cool. I'll get back on my next phone. Got something cool. See if you see it down there. I didn't, I thought it was a piece of plastic, but I look at everything. It's one of them days where it's raining. I'm raking this bank and just watching the stuff fall down. Then I'm raking it out and looking at it again. And I didn't realize what this was till I picked it up. It's painted lead right here. It's a lead figure. I don't know what it is, what kind of figure. It's a seated woman and it's got all the paint on it. And it's lead, painted lead. Um... It might be something for like a Christmas scene with 
it looks like a Mary mother of like Jesus it might be from like some kind of a but it might not be you can see them I don't want to wipe the paint off of it see it there it's lead you can see the lead right there it's a lead figure all the paint there almost that's a pretty cool find for a YouTube channel you can see it there I like these little trinkets and stuff and it's made of lead wow and the paints on it come right out of this top of this hill this is pretty cool folks I got a couple marbles now of this and it's the worst day possible I was going to leave a little bit ago but I just decided to stick it out a little bit and got a find Later. look at this like hail stuff it's actually it's like snow it's it's below freezing but look at that stuff it's been on me the whole time but I got a find for you people you know, I'm out and look at this soupy, muddy mess. Look at my shoes and my pants. This is, I got this bottle too. I didn't show it because I find them cremel. It's got a lot of embossing on it, embossing down there, but it's screw top. But I'm going to take it. Um, I got that mason. I got this piece of milk glass so far. A couple marbles in my pocket. Let me see. Three. I'll show them to you. I'm going to get back down there and got that nice one the clear one and the like moony you can see it's got another pattern to it but nothing spectacular but I like this lead figure you know to find it with the paint on it my goodness that's pretty cool maybe I'll find some more I'm gonna put it in my pocket here and I'm gonna get back at it later hey, I'm finding a few things I just got this Atlas Mason and these are clear and it's perfect you know that's from like the 40s or 50s but they're cool and they look great with marbles in it Here's a ball capper that'll, I think it'll fit right in the top of that. Yes, it will. Um, but I'm starting to see stuff sticking out of the walls that looks better. This might be an ACL bottle, it might not be, but right there's a crown top. I'll dig that out and I'll show you what I got. I just found that lead figure not long ago, but it's, it's really horrible conditions today. At least it's dry back up under here, but it's getting cold and my hands are wet. There you can see that's an Art Deco say to see the design on it. See if this will come out now. Uh, it is Art Deco say to Sistersville, West Virginia. It's not center, center embossed, but they're still worth a few bucks. So I'm at least finding some stuff. That ain't bad. It says Sisterville, West Virginia right there. I take them. I'll see if I can't find a few more marbles and a few more things. I'm going to get out of here. It's a bad day to even be looking. Well, that's got the original cap on it. That's probably old Avon. But that's a cool little hurt sheet bottle. Um, I'll be able to clean that cap up. Now you can see what the cap looks like on these. That's pretty cool. Somebody will want that. Another font. You know, this isn't the layer of trash I want to be in, but it's all wet down. Look at the water laying in where I was digging. Um, yeah. All right, here's a cool find. Genuine Devon, Devon pottery made in England. And it's a little ink. It says, Hills Devon Violets. And it's got violets on it, hand painted. It's got lip chips, but I'm going to take this and restore it. It's worthy of restoration. Um, it's a little ink, and I can fix that to where it's undetectable because it's pottery. All right, folks. All right. I mean, I'll be able to fix this to where you can't even tell it's broke. And this is one heck of a find, finding something like this that's handmade. Man, I'm glad I stuck it out. It's look at the violets painted on this. This is beautiful. My mom will like it. I'll restore it for her. All right, it's been horrible bad conditions today. I got a few things to take today. I got some slick milk. Some people want them, but they ain't worth much. I thought I had a good one here, but it's slick as well. I got this little sealer top thing. I want to take that. Somebody will want it. This Art Deco shade and these masons. Um, but I'm going to go... This will make a good video. I found this awesome ink and it's Devon 
pottery made in England. It's got a lip chip, but I can fix all that. And it's hand painted and hand lettered, and it's got hand painted violets on it. I'll show it cleaned up on this video. It's going to look awesome. Later. I'm going to restore this lip on it. There isn't much damage to it, and that's beautiful. And what I'm using is this epoxy sculpt. Um, you mix 50 50 with it, and then I'm just going to mound it up on here, and then I'll shape the shape the rest of it and paint it later all right you can see what we got here um this you can work just for a few it, i think the work time when it's a couple hours and it dries rock hard what i'll do is get back with sandpaper and even that all out and it'll be ready to paint see how cool it'll look i'll even it all up and it'll be completely restored that's a beautiful piece and it'll be back to I'll show you when I get it done. Later. Alright. I'm back. This stuff dries harder than a rock after you mix it and put it on. It's I put it in front of the heater vent there. I'm going to go now to Walmart or a hardware store and get paint to match this up. And I'm going to paint it up and we're going to fix it. You know, this isn't worth a bunch of money, but I found it and I really like it. Um, it's really cool and it's stamped on the bottom so i'm fixing it I'm, i'll probably get some fine grit sandpaper to shape this you can use a dremel tool too with like a file bed on it but it's a really thin head so i'm going to use like a fine grit sandpaper and shape it around and then i'm going to paint it and it's going to look awesome you can do this stuff too with this kind of stuff you can uh fix lots of stuff later all right i had to go to walmart because i was out of sandpaper um, I got step three finish. It, it, it'll put the finish on that you want. I also got paint. That's probably, since it's made in England, I would say English ivy. You can see. Um, I also got other tans and browns for the top. So if I can come down, and, you'll see. I'll paint it. I'm not going to show you me painting it. That's just individual artistic expression, pretty much. But you want the sandpaper to shape this later all right i just got a few more places to sand on this with the sandpaper you can see the whole lips restored i'll be able to get it painted and it'll look pretty good i'll get back later all right you can see this is looking awesome i've got to do some touch up on it but it's ready to display them i got to it's paint on pottery, so Rust-Oleum clear gloss. You can also use this stuff to restore airheads. You can use it to restore crocs, chips in crocs. You can see what I did here. You mix this stuff together in a putty and then patch, patch the piece. Then I used sandpaper. I also used a razor blade to trim it. Um, you can use a Dremel tool with different sanding bits like the I don't know, the stone ones to put the chipping patterns in the airheads. I don't have time to do all this stuff or I would do it on my breaking points. I'd want to be looking. Um, but this, it was a horrible day. I didn't find a lot. It'll make a good video. It'll give you some tips. Um, you find lots of stuff like this that you maybe want to keep, but you don't because it's broke. If it's pottery, for sure. The glass, you know, you can get stuff to do to restore glass too you can fix it but not like pottery um i'll clear coat this i got a pizza in the oven after the pizza comes out i set this in the oven to flash dry the the paint it makes it look better um then i will clear coat it and it, or i'll see if it needs more touch up and then i will clear coat it and it'll be shiny like this and it'll be great later all right, here's the inkwell. It says Hills Devon Violets. I got you can see the whole lips restored now and painted, and I clear coated over it, and it looks good. It's ready for display. You know, I just did it because I liked it. Um, but you can see, you can really bring stuff back to life. It says genuine Devon pottery made in England, and it can get right on. I'm right in my bathroom now. See, it can go anywhere. On one of my displays and it's not broke see how cool it'll look sitting right in there someplace so that's a victory here we go 
a cool pottery find inkwell and it had a lip chip and now it's good for display look at all this stuff i found a lot of stuff later